Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and today I am going to be showing you how to make this. So this is Friends Live in the Moment Together and I love that idea of Friends Living in the Moment Together and so I've decided to do this underwater scene with a shoal of fish and the sun shining through the water, you know, in that sort of not quite rainbow type prismic way. There we go. Prismic. That's a word, isn't it? Anyway, and sort of silhouetting the seaweeds and bits and pieces with that. And I love that look. That sort of there's the edges are green, like it's murky under the water. And then suddenly the sun comes through and it's poof, amazing. A myriad of colours. Anyway, so... Come with me. Let us see how this goes. OK, so here we go. Della Blue. No, confetti first. Elements. And I'm just blending in splotches some confetti onto this page. So I'm dipping into the ink and just taking some off and going in with a subtle colour to build up. OK, so that's my splotches of confetti. Now I've gone in with Sundance. And I'm just building up the colours that I would like to see. Bearing in mind that the centre I really wanted to have look like a shaft of light. So we've got some Della Blue in there as well. OK, and we're just blending them all together so that it looks nice and smooth. I always think it looks quite patchy on the screen, but actually in real life, I promise you, it's quite smooth. Now, I have taken one of the earliest stencils, I think it's called foliage, and I'm just using some Della Blue around the edges so that we get a sort of gentle suggestion of plant life. Maybe even hovering above the surface of the water. Looks quite startling now, but it will relax a bit. I'm going in with Versafine Claire and this is Cheerful. And the shoal of fish, the group of fish. And I'm printing them in the same direction and across them, just to sort of give this idea of movement. Stamping off and then going back in again with the second, for the second round. And now we're going in with Charming Pink. Same stamp. I just took some places off so that there was a variety of ink coverage on there. That's what I was doing with that kitchen towel. And now I've put some acrylic spray, what is it called, sun yellow, and some teal and some white. And I've just, I'm experimenting at this point, so I've just dabbed it onto my stamp with a stencil brush. Yellow in the centre, and while it's still wet and gooey, I've just placed it down. It's not a clear stamp, but it sort of gives that impression of something else lurking in the back. I like it. Anyway, the remains of the teal and white and yellow, I'm putting, using a stencil brush, around the edges to create this sort of, I don't know, almost like an aquarium feel. A frame of sorts. Doesn't go all the way around, but it sort of gives you a hint that there's an edge to this. This is just a pocket of light that we're seeing. 
And here we go in with the medieval blue. And this is the larger of the leaf creepers. Silhouetted against this pocket of light. I love this effect. And we're using the smaller of the two stamps and the leaf creeper set. And now I have gone in with, bear with me, seaweed two. So this is the smaller of the seaweed two. Again in medieval blue. I'm not wanting any other colours in the front, really. And now we've got Dream Higher Than The Sky and Deeper Than The Ocean, the text stamp, which I think is just gorgeous. And again, it's medieval blue and I'm stamping off and popping it straight back on again so that we get this variation. And now I'm going to use the Posca pen as highlights. Can you see there? You've got aqua green and the pink. And I'm just going to dot them along. Here we go with my dots, but they're so effective and so simple. And then there's my aqua green. I'm just noticing how messy my desk has become. I'm so sorry. There we go. Still doing my aqua green. But there are lots of little pods to colour in. So using the yellow Posca, I'm just add, adding accents to the fish, giving them little yellow eyes. And I'm adding in my sentiment stickers. So this one is together. Then at the top, I've got friends. And the next one is live in the moment. And I sort of think there's something almost cartoonish about this. So I'm adding the three dots at the end of together, uh, live in the moment and at the beginning of together, like it's a continuous thought. So now it's the quickie glue pen and I'm just adding dots to sort of add a highlight that this is super shiny sunlight that's coming from up above. But only little dots of it because I don't want it to be too overpowering. We've got a lot going on in this. I'm sure you'll agree. But she's still dotting, you know. This girl with a quickie glue pen. Phew. Goodness me. <laughs> can never have enough glitter though, can you? And this one is Vintage Shimmer. I'm just going to get one of my softer brushes in a minute and get rid of the excess. So there, my friends, we have done it. Hurrah. I love it. I love it. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Oh, you know what? I, I knew what I wanted to achieve. And yes, happy with this. Happy, happy face. Although it does look slightly insane. Believe me, that was happy. Anyway, so if you've got any comments to make, please pop them in the post below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll do my best to answer all your comments. You take care now. And remember, inky fingers are good. <laughs>